Sonia Smith before the accident, which was to change her life. A few months later, she was mown down by her own car as she tried to stop it rolling down a hill with her three young daughters sitting in the back. When a neighbour found her, she was still conscious. And I just kept begging, begging him to knock me out in whatever way he could. It was just excruciating pain. One, two, three, four. There were celebrations when she came home, but the future looked bleak, with the doctors in Australia giving her no hope of walking again. The MRI that they took to show complete crush of the, their spinal cord. Um, my, my T11, T12 bones were, were broken um, and I had completely bent backwards is what they said. This was how she was 18 months after the accident, paraplegic, with no feeling at all below the waist and no prospect of that ever changing. In desperation, she travelled to India, where there are few laws controlling the injection of human embryonic stem cells. That's it. That's it? Very good. good. Excellent. You were excellent. In a video diary, she captures the first shot. At this stage, all she has is hope. I can't walk at all. I can't stand. This is her now, after eight weeks of stem cell injections, using calipers, but on her feet nonetheless. She's got back bowel and bladder control, her leg muscles are growing, and she says she can feel sensation in her thighs. The technology is controversial because the Indian doctor who's practicing it hasn't outlined her methods to the satisfaction of her medical colleagues abroad. That's left her open to criticism that the science is unreliable and unproven. She insists the proof is her patients, patients like Sonia, who can now even crawl with a lot of effort. It's so huge. I mean, for a person who cannot walk, to start walking, whether it's with support or not, a person who has no bladder and bowel, to get that again, medically it's huge. The technology is in the middle of being patented, and once her medical secrets are protected, the doctor insists she'll open up her work to scrutiny. But the patients who previously had no hope aren't about to wait. They're lining up for treatment with or without international approval. Sonia Smith travelled more than 6,000 miles to test it, and she's convinced it's working. I do feel as though it is a miracle because everyone that I've spoken to said that if I would never get any feeling or any movement back. Even my mother has constantly from day one has tried to get my head around that this is how I'm going to be for the rest of my life. So to be able to, oh, the day when I sat there and Gita said, your toe is moving, it's just unbelievable. Her three daughters waiting in Australia are hugely excited at the progress. And she recorded me crawling and walking and kicking the ball like you've never seen me kick it before. It's really amazing, like a huge improvement. It's pretty cool, she said, and for Sonia and her family, whether it's a placebo effect or not, is irrelevant. She believes she has her life back. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Delhi.